Hey guys, Dion here again. Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're new to my channel, just check out the old videos that I've posted previously to see the progress on this Miata build. Uh, I started from the bottom and now we're still kind of at the bottom. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it's December and it's almost Christmas. My birthday is around Christmas. So you know what that means for you December babies? You get one present for Christmas and for your birthday, which sucks. But anyways, today I have a birthday present for myself. I got me a set of these Delrin bushings. These are diff bushings for my NA. You know, 1816. I'm not sure if they're the same. Just FYI, you might want to double check. But these are for my 18 diff, all right? And they're made out of Delrin, so they're hard plastic. They come with these guys, two of them, obviously, left to right. And then these replacement plates already, uh, you know, stripped and painted. So if uh, you want to buy this kit, just go to the Auto Roadsters page and just I'll, I'll link it in the bottom to make things easier, but I'm not sponsored. These weren't for free. I bought them just normal price. So um, if you want these, just check out the link in the bottom. But anyways, the steps on to removing and installing the original and these, well, it's a little bit tricky, to be honest. I've seen videos online. Um, Greg Peters actually did an install video on, on the, these diff bushings and the way he did it, he dropped the subframe, or the subframe, they, he dropped the diff like you're supposed to, right? You're supposed to just drop the, drop the wheels, take out the axles, pull the diff out, and then do it that way. But today, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to install these without dropping the diff. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but you will see, and we're gonna go through it together because um, I actually really don't wanna take apart my rear suspension again. Since I've owned this car, I probably ripped it apart. that many times all right so more than a handful which sucks because i i installed the 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 rear control arms the upper control arms then the axles and then the freaking uh billet hubs and then i did like sway bar stuff and then i did something else and i'm just like dude i'm not gonna take it up again and then i, I put two sets of coilovers now i'm on my second set because i got you know better ones i, I just don't want to take it apart all right so for you lazy people like me all right we're gonna try to take that bushing out, install these without dropping the diff. Not sure it's gonna work, but anyways, there's uh, one bolt in the center right here and two on the side. So if you look at the stock plate right here, all right, this bolt in the center comes out and then the two right here comes out and then that's it. It's easy, easy peasy. You just gotta figure out how to push out the old bushing, all right? Uh, people burn them, people, cut them, people uh, send them to the outer space. No, I don't know. They, uh, they do a lot of things and you're supposed to press them out, you know, at the dealership. If you work at the dealership, you're supposed to press those guys out. But I think I'm gonna use an air hammer and see if it works. Um, never tried this before. This is the first time taking apart the rear diff. It looks easy. I just swapped my front subframe and it seems, it seems easy. So the back should be easy, right? Eh. Let's go see. All right, so down here you can see my fancy exhaust tip. Look at that bracket, man. So awesome. And uh, the back right here, you can see the Flying Miata Cannon Brace. I gave that a nice brush finish. I just use, uh, what did I use? I got, I got like scuff pads and uh, I gave it that brush finish. And you can take a closer look at this nut right here. It's a 12 point FUM ARP. So a lot of cool stuff down here. And I'm missing my flat belly because I removed it because I need to do all this work. So. The diff is right here, this big boy. And if you look closely back here, let's see if I can get that. That's the upper mount right there. That's the, the rubber OE mount that looks kind of weathered, huh? Anyways, the uh, top right there, you can see the two nuts and then one nut in the center. That's what we need to undo. And then we need to undo the PPF bolt right here. We're not gonna remove it yet. I don't know, we might need to remove it, but we'll see. We just need to get it loose so we can move this thing down slightly while keeping everything else in place. You know, the lower control arm, the upper control arm, the knuckle, the axle. I don't think we're gonna need to remove it, but we will see because this is kind of just like a theory right now. I've never really tried to do it without removing the diff. Removing the diff would be a lot easier. I think you could drop in about 30 minutes or so, but uh, like again, I don't wanna have to undo all these pieces again. Uh, and then put my car back down on the ground because it's a total pain in the butt. So 
Let's start. All right, so we're gonna get our jack. We're gonna place it right under the diff, all right? And you always wanna have a puck on there, hockey puck, so things don't get jacked up. <laughs> you don't, things don't get jacked up. That's funny, okay, well, I'm funny. All right, here we go. With this guy somewhat touching this, we're gonna go over there and undo the PPF bolts. Here we go. Bruh, that is loud as F. Look, anti-seize, so it comes out nice and clean. All right, here we go. Loudness. All right. This is why I always have a rag right here. Wipe things down as I take them out. All right. Good practice, boys. Good practice. All right. And then this guy right here needs to come out. This little shim washer, spacer thing. I'm gonna take that guy out. I need me a, a screwdriver. And then this should just plop out. So if you have issues taking this collar off, you might want to spray it down with W40 and then use a chisel, like this boy right here, to work it out. Next, after you pop this guy out, you want to replace the bolts back in here and then you're going to tap it with a, with a hammer or a mallet, whatever, and push out the collars from the top. Kind of similar to the, uh, the bottom one, this guy right here. And then you just add a little bit of anti-seize here when you put it back so it doesn't get stuck again next time. So let's do that. I added a little bit of anti-seize on here already. There we go. Making sure it's on, on. Feel it from the other side. We'll get the other one. Okay, put that guy in. Okay, good. There it is. Not bad, eh? Having the right tool definitely helps. All right, here we go. There you go. I think these guys are identical, so I guess it doesn't matter if you flip it or not. Yeah. So, you get those three collars out, drop the bolt. There you go. There you go. Bolts off. Now the PPF can swing out of the way. See, this guy is just dancing now, so we're good. Here we go. Oh, you gotta wear your glasses for this, guys. He's gonna get crap in your eyes. Okay. Good. All right, off camera, I had to remove the mid pipe right here from there to the tip right here. I had to remove it because the uh, diff would hit it. So got it out of the way. Maybe if you have a smaller pipe, it might clear, but for my setup, I had to uh, get it out of the way. So now I should be able to lower this a little bit more. Let's see. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if you can see this. Here we 
go. Oh, it's coming. It's moving. Okay, let's lock it there for now. Let's double check. So if you look over here, this thing's dropped significantly. See, now I got space up there. There you go. There you go, here we go. Give this a quick wipe down with brake cleaner. Nice and clean. Oh, come on. Like no space to do anything here. Well, I hope you guys can see all this. I know it's a bit difficult to see. Okay. We're gonna move it to the side, rotate the diff. All right, let's see if we can insert this this way. Oh, oh yeah, baby. You might be wondering what this goo is. This is anti-seize. I just put some on there so it slides in easier. Here's the bottom bushing. Top plate. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put this nut in the middle. Ooh, that almost fell on my face. Just gonna put this middle nut on there first, and then I'm gonna add the corner nuts. One on each side here. Twenty foot pounds for the little nuts, the two right here. Okay, good. Okay, good. And then the center nut, that guy is 70. All right guys, that's about it. If you have any questions on how to do certain things for the swap, just comment below and I'll usually answer within a few hours. Now, is this easier than doing the proper way, dropping the diff and all that stuff, the suspension arms and whatnot? I, I can't honestly tell you, but I know that the proper way, the OE way, will take a lot longer because you're gonna need to drop all those pieces over there and you know, you're gonna drop the diff the same way. So for me, just dropping the diff and hammering out the old bushing was way easier, way easier. And if you buy the kit from Miata Roadster, everything's you know provided for you, so you don't need to burn off the old rubber from the bottom plate, blah, 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 blah. You get new bolts and you know everything's pretty easy. So that's pretty much it for today. 